Now I am waiting for the furniture delivery from Restoration Hardware. We had a bit of an issue. I'm gonna take you through sheets and accent bedding, the duvet, the fabrics, the comforter that I'm using, everything. I'm gonna be working on a major bedroom makeover. This is something that I have been wanting to do for a while. I have been super inspired by these dark, moody bedrooms, and I feel like I could just do a little bit better in my current space. So we're gonna do some shopping. I have some ideas. I have some inspiration, but I do need to look at paint colors. I need to look at furniture and rugs and art and lighting and mirrors. I'm really gonna be doing a lot in this bedroom to make it what I think is gonna be just the best sort of escape and retreat and I think look really beautiful. So I'm gonna take you along every step of the way, but first let me show you the existing bedroom and everything that I plan to change and things I like about it and don't like about it. So I'll give you a little bedroom tour as it is now. The most prominent part of the bedroom now is this feature wall that I did, which I really do love the molding, but I wanna change up the vibe in here in general. So I'm gonna be keeping a bunch of the furniture, this bed I'm keeping and the lamps I'm keeping, the art TBD, I might wanna find some new art. And the dresser, hi Zoe, she's here as well. The dresser I'm keeping, but I just feel like I could do better with the color. So that is what uh, the primary focus is gonna be on is changing up this color in the room. So the paint went up yesterday and I'm standing in the room. I'm really pleased with how it came out, but I always forget that these projects completely turn my life into disarray because furniture is all out of the bedroom and I had to sleep on the bed in the middle of the room, which is uncomfortable and I slept really shitty. Maybe you can tell based on how bloated I look, but yeah. So then last night I had this epiphany. It's always been so dark in this room because there's only one overhead light. You can kind of see it over here uh, and it's like in the little entry of the bedroom and I've always wanted to have overhead lights not for all the time and not like that viral like TikTok like hating the the you know the boob light on the ceiling like obviously not that but I'm thinking of four recessed lights that like when you need it when you're getting ready when you're getting dressed when you're cleaning like you just need more light in your room other than like aesthetic lamps so I I know an electrician and he was available today. So the painter's coming back today the, the, and I also was able to stack the electrician to come earlier. So I've completely made my life mayhem. Uh, and I have to go to B&H, which is a really fun electronics store in New York City. If you've never been or heard of it, you should look it up and you should definitely visit next time you're in the city. But I have to go to B&H because I'm gonna get the Philips Hue recessed lights. So they all work off of my existing Hue ecosystem in my apartment, which I'm so excited about, like very excited about. And then I have to go to Home Depot and get all the things that my electrician said that I have to get, which uh, was our compromise of him coming last minute. I would be getting the equipment. So I'm gonna take you shopping, but first let me show you around the bedroom and show you the paint and show you uh, everything. Uh, and then we'll go shopping. The lighting is a little weird in here right now. Just like, it's like morning. And it looks like maybe a little blue tinted, but I really love the way this brown looks. And if you're thinking, wow, that's dark and ugly. Just give it, give it, time by the end of the video you're gonna see my vision come to life and I think it's gonna be really beautiful and cozy this is how I slept last night in the middle of the room which is so bizarre that sleeping three feet away from where you normally sleep completely <laughs> throws you off and makes you feel like you're in a strange random place so you can see here here's that light that is the existing light so we're gonna swap this light out actually for a Philips hue light and then we're gonna put 
re recessed here, recessed here, and then the same on the other side as well. So that's gonna really brighten the space up. And plus with Philips Hue, you can do the color matching. I like really warm light, so I'm gonna want all the lighting here to be more or less the same. So with those Philips Hue lights, all you will be able to do that, which I really like. shopping lots of things I've never bought or even knew existed like this thing that goes in the ceiling and some wire but really the fun part is the Philips Hue light for the ceiling I'm really excited about these so this is a four pack and then just one more because I've got five total Hello from day three. We have made some significant progress. There are lights on the ceiling, you can kind of see, uh, but we've got some problems. Now I am waiting for the furniture delivery from Restoration Hardware, which they just called me and they're 15 minutes away, so I'm super excited to have that and finally see the space and the color with the furniture in it. So let me give you a little look right now at what the room looks like without the furniture and just the paint and the lights and I'll show you the furniture after. I really like the way this brown turned out. I think it's so pretty and it's gonna look really good with the new furniture. There's a little bit more contrast from the older dresser. You can see like there's just not enough contrast with the wall. Uh, but you can see like the bed looks really good, that like natural linen color. And then the lights, we had a bit of an issue where he drilled wrong. So now there's a massive spackle spot and I have to have the painter back, but uh, I'm just so grateful to have these lights up. It's, it's so much nicer to have the lighting and just waiting on all of the furniture. So TV's gonna come in and go here. I put a little piece of tape so that the guys know exactly where I want the height. I like it to be really close to the dresser. By the way, this is the new dresser. I'm not showing too much, but, uh, cause I wanna save it for the reveal. But this is the rug. Honestly, the rug is not, it's just not it for me. Uh, it's like a little too Western. Um, and then I have like the old House of Styles, like that, like not old, but like from my old, uh, old bedroom. But I don't know, it's just like, it looks like Western or something. It's just not hitting the way that I was expecting. So I'm not sure about this rug. I'm probably gonna change it. Uh, I'm definitely gonna change it. And I might be doing some different things on this wall. I got this chair. This chair is definitely also going. But I like the nightstand, I like the way that looks. I'm giving like sneak peeks, but there'll be a big reveal uh, later on. But for what I'm really interested in looking at is what am I gonna do with this wall? I'm thinking a giant mirror, like literally a mirror that takes up the entire wall. Or I might do another smaller dresser and put it here, um, but I'm not sure. And then here, there's like a lot of options that can go here. I might do the chair here, but like much smaller, kind of just like literally an accent chair you would never sit on. It's almost just like decor um, or a floor lamp. I'm not sure. This wall back here there's a huge mirror coming like larger than life mirror I had a chair there in that corner which I showed earlier but I did not end up keeping that chair it just wasn't the vibe that I was going for so I'm really excited about this 
mirror that I got and this bench that I got, it's like the vision I hope is gonna come together. It's been uh, a lot of trial and error in this room, honestly, but I think that this is going to work. So what I did was I measured out the mirror and the bench and then I just basically like in the corners of like the top right and left corners of the bench I put little pieces of painters tape just so I can visually see it. I don't know if anyone else does that but when you're getting new furniture or a rug or something like that it's very helpful to just like spatially see the size of it. The mirror goes literally up there that's the left corner that's the other left corner you can kind of it's like you, you get the idea, like it's gonna be centered on that bench. It's gonna reflect a lot of the natural light that comes in from the window, and I think it's gonna be fine, but we'll see. Okay, new bench is here. It's behind me in this big ass box, and I'm going to open it up and set it up, and you'll we'll see how it looks. Hopefully it's good because it was really heavy. <laughs> great it's really nice quality this is pottery barn I don't know if I mentioned that um, it's like this like rustic wood it's very solid it's really solid you can see my measuring was pretty spot-on so then the idea is that the mirror the corner of the mirror will be there got the mirror it's so beautiful the mirror is from RH and it's this beautiful like molded iron metal, really cool, like rustic looking. And this is gonna be mounted. As I showed previously, it's gonna to go to about where that green piece of tape is. And that's gonna complete this little vignette that I've made over here. And yeah, I'm really excited to get that on the wall. Also new is I got this little chair. I'll take off these. I'm just like playing around with how I'm decorating, but uh, this chair, just like a little side piece to, to just kind of like dress up this little area. But uh, you can see, I'll show you the side profile of it too. It's kind of funky looking, like wabi-sabi. I don't know, it's cool. And it's just a decor piece. As you saw, I have um, some books on it for now. We'll see if that ends up. So another problem, the outlets are this white. They're there and there's one behind the mirror too. So I went on Amazon and let me show you. I got new face plates. It's this dark bronze color. So it'll be this, which is gonna look really good against the brown instead of the white. And then I also got the outlet too. So it's matching. And yeah, you obviously get the idea. But that is the new replacement for the outlets in here. And I think that that's gonna look really nice against the brown, just kind of not stick out as much. And this matches, like this is, it's a little grand. I got on Amazon, but this is what was already in my apartment. So it's gonna all look cohesive, just a different color in here. And I think that's really well good. I'm ready for this bedroom makeover to be done. And uh, be able to film in here because I've been not filming here because I'm keeping it a secret for some reason that I made up from you. But now you're watching the video, so that's all over. Anyway, see you in a minute. Today we're gonna to talk about bedding. I'm gonna take you through sheets and accent bedding, the duvet, the fabrics, the comforter that I'm using, everything, everything. Bedding is really tricky. If you want to style your bed and have it look like luxurious or hotel or just like really well designed like a magazine, that's it's really hard. I have tried and failed many times and even if you copy a picture completely, it never looks like the way that you think it's gonna look because oftentimes in a magazine, for example, they're like cheating the way that they style it. They might put two duvets 
inside the, or sorry, two comforters inside the duvet insert to make it look extra fluffy, which like you would never sleep with. Cause I don't know, for me, I would asphyxiate overnight cause it'd be so hot. So how do you get that look at home and do it in a way that's realistic for you to make the bed every day? That's, that's what we're going to talk about today. So let's start with the base and that's sheets. I decided to try out the RH sheets. A lot of the bedding is 100% mm, of the bedding is RH. These are the RH Percal, Percal, I think it's Percal, Percal sheets. And I will tell you that I have slept on these already. Um, I'm just making the bed now with everything, but I've slept on these already. They're, these are not worth it. I think you can find cheaper sheets, better sheets. And actually the sheets that I used uh, in the past the, that are Percal, are from Molecule. I'll leave those linked for you in this description. No, this is not sponsored. I truly just like those sheets. And um, I think that those are probably a better bang for the buck. They're on sale all the time. And they're just really high quality sheets. If you like that per cal feeling, I think sheets are super subjective. Yeah, I don't think the RH sheets are worth it, but these are just white RH sheets. Layer up, I got this blanket from RH. Now this is super soft. It's a Merino cashmere blend. And I leave, on one side, it's like this ribbed kind of texture. And then on the other side, it's smooth. This goes between the top sheet and the duvet. So it's not, you're not like sleeping with this all the time, but like a little bit, I don't know. Like it's nice when a little bit of that soft kind of touches your face. I, I just really like that. And I just like these like different layers of texture, I think add a little bit more interest to your bed and just ultimately are comfortable, which is what's most important. Duvet, I went with a linen duvet cover Again, this is RH, this is the caramel color, and I just think it looks really good with the brown paint of the room. I I did try like swatches of different styles and maybe lighter, but I think that this room with the moodiness and the, and the darkness to it, I just kind of like leaned into it more. This is something that I would recommend RH for. I think that they have really beautiful colors that you're not gonna find anywhere else. And there is something that's just nice about their linen. It's really high quality. Also in the linen have the King loungers. These King loungers are huge oversized King pillows. Almost think of it as like two King pillows stacked on top of each other. And I have those in front of the sleeping pillows. And then in front of that, I just have a really simple lumbar pillow. That's also from RH. In front of that, I have a woven leather accent pillow. And this one is from the citizenry, something that's not RH. And I think this is just like a really nice simple vibe. Then when we talk about layering the bed, I have at the end of the bed on the first layer is this cashmere blanket. This is a bed blanket in the king size, super, super soft. This is on the uh, the first layer of that and the second layer is this, which is kind of like a chunkier without being overly chunky throw. This is, I, I wasn't sure if I was gonna like this, but I, I really, I think this is really pretty looking and um, it just kind of brings the bed together and adds a little more dimension and texture. I think that this came together really nicely and I love the rich, luxurious brown of the room. <laughs> Beautiful artwork was done by my mother and I'm speechless. This is the first time seeing it in person and I saw pictures and I saw her mocking it up and it's really just so beautiful and I cannot wait to get this up in the room. It's gonna be so magical and the fact that it was done by my mom is just so special. She is an artist of many talents, I will show you some of the other things she's done around my apartment. And she actually does take commissions and she has an Etsy shop. So I'm gonna leave my mom's information down below if you guys wanna check it out. My mom is not knowing this, but she is the sponsor of today's video. Just by doing this for me, I'm giving her this shameless plug. Thanks again to my mom for making this amazing painting for me. Mom, I know you're watching this, so thank you from the bottom of my heart. It means a lot. I cannot wait to get it up. So let's talk about now how we're gonna get this up in the bedroom. This is what's currently there. It's a nice photo from House of Spoils. And I think that the painting my mom did is gonna be a lot better. It's gonna mean a lot more and obviously it's custom. and It's gonna go with all the beautiful colors of the room. I also have a picture light that's gonna go above it. So we'll install that together too.
I thought maybe that the old hooks from the picture before would be okay, but they're not. So I now need to figure out the best way to hang this. That was really easy, but now I have to measure. And I don't know if you saw the bathroom makeover vlog, but I am not good at measuring. So I need to really put my skills to the test here and make sure that I can measure and do this correctly. I've determined that I'm gonna use this wire that's on the back. And this is about eight inches down from where the existing hooks would have been hitting this. So I know that I'm just going to move those down by eight inches and then I can use this to support it. We're up. I am so happy with this. It looks so good. This is the picture light. This is a plug-in. So the plan is to use Philips Hue Everything to get it to automate. Yeah, it's like a nice dark bronze. What's really cool is that because this is plug-in and because the bulbs are not Philips Hue in here, they're just normal aesthetic kind of bulbs. Philips Hue doesn't make bulbs that would fit that. So I use this Philips Hue plug here and this now works with the whole system. It'll work with A-L-E-X-A. -E I'm not gonna say it to make your home go crazy, but the wire, it's not behind the wall, but the wire is brown and you cannot see it when you're back even a couple feet. So after all that, I think it's now time for the grand reveal.